Hey what's up guys hopefully you guys are doing absolutely great and welcome back to another episode of Tech Flip and in this episode of Tech Flip I'm going to show you 2017 MacBook Air for photo editing on Adobe Photoshop let me show you the specification so this is the 2017 version of MacBook Air what is inside of this thing so inside of this thing you are going to get a very simple thing that is 1.6 gigahertz dual core core i5 processors you are also going to get 8 gb ram that is ddr3 low power ddr3 and a simple intel hd graphics 6000 let's see how much or how well of a photoshop photo editing we can do so here you can see i have three 4k photos and two 8k photos and we are going to try editing this five photos on adobe photoshop let's see how well we can edit these photos on my macbook here i have the latest version of adobe photoshop 2020 so we are going to open all these five photos on adobe photoshop 2020 let's see how long does it take select them all and open with adobe photoshop three two one go okay let me also start the screen recording okay i will start the screen recording after all of these photos loaded because it can do some interference in all of these things because i am opening 4k and also 8k photos so it will take a little time and all of them are loaded so it's very good thing so let me do a screen recording okay so here i have all of this 4k and 8k photo open on adobe photoshop 2020 so let's go and edit all of them and we're going to save all of them individually let's see how well we can do so so here's the one layer we're going to do some color adjustment on camera raw filter that's the simple thing what every single photographer does so there is a thing we can we're going to make the shadows a little bright we're going to make the blacks a little white and whites a little blacks and the highlights a little down and the contrast a bit not contrast a bit we're going to make the contrast like minus 15 and we're going to make the dehydration a little bit and make the clarity a little texture a little and we're going to add some noise reduction okay all the color adjustment uh, it's pretty well right now so that is the final photo and that is the before photo and now we are going to click on ok and this photo is going to be saved taking a little time filter camera raw filter bits uh, because it's a very big file okay number one photo editing done this is the number four number two photo this is the 8k another 8k photo let's go to filter and click on camera raw filter and now it is applying the same filter maybe all right so another next filter is applied so i think i'm not going to apply that filter so let's go and copy that layer and edit again let's go to filter camera raw filter okay literally the photo editing is uh, done for right now and it's pretty okay in my opinion number two photo editing done let's go for 4k photos here's the 4k photo let's go and go to camera filter So winter mode right now okay the photo editing done this is the 4k one and after that we're going to do another one that is another 4k so we're going to edit another two photos and we're going to export all of them at one time let's see and at the beginning the ram was around 4 gb right now we have only 334 mb available ram so it is taking huge amount of ram so 16 gb of ram for photoshop is must in these days okay uh, my battery camera battery is literally going to down okay let's bring the shadows let's make the blacks a little bright okay now it's a little moody photo with a little winter vibe another i i think the last photo yeah over here we have the last photo to edit and after that we are going to export all of them um let's make it's also a winter photo not winter i think it is going to be a warm no winter is better let's go winter and let's bring some texture okay i think that is the photo editing and final version is this this was the input and none of these photos were raw photo these all of were jpeg and jpg photos are still very powerful even though we're going to export all of them right now let's see how long time it takes and right now we have only 246 ram available click on con command option s and we're going to save this photo at first copy one jpg with full color and maximum quality click on save and saving 99% number one done command option s and save save maximum control s save save and control s save save command s save save and here all of the photos saved and deleting all of the photos right now all right here is the original one here is the after editing one 
and here's the original here's the after editing one here's the original and after editing original after editing here's the original and here's the after editing and over here we have the final photo original and after editing so that is what we can do on photoshop so photoshop is still very powerful and 2017 macbook air is still very powerful so photo editing on 2017 macbook air should not be any issues because it is working very well even though i have shown you all the photo editing in front of you guys and you guys can see that it is working so well without any kind of issue anyway that is all for this one hopefully you guys got your idea so photo editing on macbook air 2017 is possible to what extent you can you want to do and that is your questions answer anyway see you in another one and if you really like this one be sure to subscribe be sure to press the bell icon uh, because uh, at that part i will be really happy anyway see you in another one till then exactly how well does it work so you guys commented on okay